Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Um, I am, I've been thinking a lot about Eve, Adam, and all those other things, that, all the buhaha that took place in their lives and all those things. And, and I'd like to capture this morning's thoughts with this word, silly sweetness. And that's where I want to go this morning. You, you remember in Genesis chapter 3, I mean, when the snake spoke to Eve or the devil spoke to Eve and told Eve that, listen, did God say this? Did God say that? And then um, Eve said, yeah, God said this. And then the devil began to postulate his own theory and his own understanding and his own interpretation of the mind of God. When the devil begins to interpret the mind of God to you, and that means you are in serious breach and you are in serious, you are in a serious threat and you are really, really walking into the shades or in the valleys of hell. Now the Bible said the enemy or the devil then began to interpret um, uh, the, the whole saga of God talking to them and God giving them commandments. They, he began to bring out his own interpretation. When people begin to whittle down the law of God, when people begin to whittle down the principles of God to suit their circumstances and their situations, sometimes you need to raise an eyebrow. Now the Bible says Eve got involved in the conversation. And like I said, the enemy was in the, uh, was in the garden all along and Adam never saw it. So you see, Eve is the receptacle of discernment. The women are usually the ones to see. They can notice a, a fraud 10 miles away and they can notice that mm, this thing is not right and they may know there's something intuitive in them that tells them this must be carefully watched. So the ability to discern is very, very, very uh, powerful with women and their curiosity knows no bound. Remember when you go home and then you come from visiting your mother, your wife will say, so what did your wife, what did your mother say? How was she? What did she say? Did she talk about me? The questions just keep piling up, piling up. It's just curiosity. That's how God made them. That's how God made them. So we need to accept them like that. And sometimes their curiosity is good. It helps us and it prevents us from harm's way. It keeps us from harm's way and removes us from clear and present danger. Now the Bible said something about, about Eve. She engaged in conversation with, with uh, the devil. And the devil began to slowly, slowly, slowly whittle away the import of God's word. Whittle away the, 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 the impact of it and said, no, it didn't mean this, it didn't mean that, it didn't mean this. Then the enemy played a trick. He offered Eve an alternative pathway of understanding. And what he offered her was sweet. And see what he said. He said, when you do this, it will, you'll get this, you'll get that, you'll get that, you'll get that. So everything the enemy was talking about was sweet. And, and so, and the Bible says when Eve took it, she saw that it tasted nice, it was good. Get it? So she has done the wrong thing, but it is sweet. She's done the wrong thing, but it is good. It is nice. She has done the wrong thing, but it is there. But in the end, you pay a price for it. There is a momentary sweetness that you may get from doing the wrong thing. And that momentary sweetness might be encouraging. It gives us, some, it gives us a high. It gives us a lush high. Ooh, ha, nice, powerful. But in the end, there's a price to pay. And then you will recognize that, listen, that pathway of sweetness that you walk was just plain silly. Because the price is too much. So there's a sweetness the enemy offers. There's a sweetness rebellion offers. There's a sweetness that's there. And for a while, like Absalom, you walk in, in your high. You walk in your high, high noon and you walk in your, in your high places. But you pay a price for it. And in the end, you would sit down and say, Man, this was sweet. But you know what? I was silly. All throughout our lives, we'll be faced with choices. And those choices, are some of them might be sweet. But there may be problems in the end. And we will sit down and say, we were plain silly for making those choices. Well, you know, every time we talk, the power of choice always rests with you. Investigate what you're hearing. 
and investigate it properly in the light of God's word. Find out that is that what he wants? If not, that may offer you sweetness, but in the end, you will look silly. And as usual, it is a choice. So see you later.